Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Quadra Septa. <laughs> So today we are going to build a quadcopter and this quadcopter will be made using the KK 2.1.0 flight controller. So now we'll see the budget, it's 15k and this is a really really easy budget build for beginners. This is Srivatsan and this is Alvin and we'll be guiding you through this video to make the quadcopter. Okay, now we are going to start with the parts. First we need the frame, the F450 frame. All the link to the parts are given in the description. Next, we'll need the stand. These stands are sold separately. They'll give you a little more stability and a high ground so that the drone does not fall in grass or get any more, any dust from the ground. And while using gimbal, these things are most useful stuff. So now the motors. These are 1000 kV motors. We need four of these since it's a quadcopter. Next, we'll talk about the ESC. They are 30 amp ESCs, so this basically sends the order to the motor to give the amount of power that is needed. So then to power this all up, we'll definitely need a battery. This is a 2200 mAh 3 cell battery. Then there's this charger. There are two chargers which you can use for this drone. One is the B3 which can only charge 2S to 3S. The other one is a B6 which can charge till 2S to 6S. Then there are the props, you'll definitely need a lot of props, these are 10 inch props, so they, you only need 4 for the moment, but you'll definitely need more when you crash. Then, this is the KK board, KK 2.1.5, this will act as a flight controller. So, so the speciality about this controller is that it's very easy to use and this has an inbuilt display. So you can just configure it right in the ground and then fly it. You don't need to connect it to a computer. Then you need the transmitter and the receiver. This is the FSI6 six channel transmitter that comes with an FSI6B. All the link to the parts will be given in the description section. Okay, now we'll discuss about the tools. So first you will need the screws that comes along with the frame. And then you will need some cable ties, a XT60 connector, a pliers, a battery tie, some wires, tweezers, a soldering lead and a soldering iron. A multimeter Allen drivers or you can use screwdrivers which has this hexagonal shape. We'll leave the link in the description for the screw dri screwdriver as well as the hex keys. Okay, now we'll go ahead with the build. So this is the power distribution board that is found along with the frame. We'll have to add the ESCs to this power distribution board so that they can uh, the battery can evenly distribute power among these ESCs. Yeah, you could also buy an external power distribution board to which we'll add the link in the description. Okay, so to start off, we need to cut this connector to attach it to the power distribution to the power distribution board. So take your scissors and cut it as even as possible. Keep this aside so that you can use it for any other purpose in case if you need it at any time. So now we'll use this wire stripper to cut the portion of the wire that we are going to solder. So now, after cutting these, take your salt rod. Okay, so take your salt rod and take your soldering lead and put some solder in these pads. You can see that we have already put some solder there, but normally it used, looks like this. Okay, so go on ahead. Be very, very, very careful with the positive and the negative pads because if you solder it wrong uh, by mistake in the other way around, you'll end up frying both your ESCs and the motors if you connect them. So first, add some lead to the wires.
Okay, so now take the arm of your drone and the landing gear for your drone. So, so we are gonna tilt this around now to mount it. So first place this underneath the ESC and then align it with the holes here. So now we are gonna take a landing gear and then align it with the hole and then we are gonna screw it in. So take your hex driver and start screwing it. Okay, so here instead of an Allen key, I'm using my screwdriver. I like to use a screwdriver better than the key because it's a little more comfortable. So once you are done screwing it, turn it around. So it should look somewhat like this. Okay, so now that we have got it ready, now let's take our zip ties and tie the ESCs down so that they don't go dangling. So before doing that, take your signal cable, signal cable and insert it down this hole and then take it out of this one so that it should look something like this so that it will be easier for us to handle now let's zip tie it okay so once we are done with zip tying all of it Let's take our motors and get it out of its package. So you'll find the find the motor mount. This we don't need right now. This is only for uh, testing and RC planes and other things. Here. And then you'll find a propeller nut and some screws. I'll take it out and show you guys. We don't need the screw right now. But keep the motor mount and the screws for later on purposes. Okay, so this is where the propellers will go. Yeah. Let's start screwing your motors. So the screws for the motor also will be available with the package you get. The one with the frame. We have fixed the motors, so while fixing the motor, just be careful that the, these wires point the inward side so that we could connect the EC wires to these wires. If it's facing this side, it'll be like really hard to get it to this side, it'll be a big mess. And now we have to connect these wires into the EC wires. And for more neat work, you, you, you can just put these wires through these holes inside like this. Okay, so once you have pushed everything inside, let's turn the quad upside down to connect the ESC wires with the motor wires. So first, you take the uh, you just connect the wires in any way you like for the opposite two sides, and just note that the yellow wire should always go in the middle. The red and black can go on either side, but for the motor that is right next to this, it has to be the opposite. For in this case, I put the red wire first, and here I want to put the red wire last. Yellow for the middle one, and black for the first one. So what this will do is it will change the direction of the motor. Let's uh, add some more zip ties so that these wires don't dangle in mid air. Okay, so once everything is zip tied, it should look something like this. Let's uh, turn the cord over. And then we can add the top plate now. Okay, so now while adding the top plate also, just get the ESCs out of these holes. Now 
then now you can screw them in. Okay, so now that we have uh, fixed the top part in the frame, let's start with the KK board. Let's mount it here. You can use double side tape or any other medium to mount it there, but now I'm using Tacket, which is a form of a clay. Okay, now that I stuck my KK board, I'm going to mount my Flysky FSI 6 AB receiver. I'm going to mount it right here. So for that, I'm using a glue drop. So this is a glue drop. Okay. So after we're done with that, let's take these uh, wires. These wires can be bought separately. A link will be given in the description. Or this may or may not come around with the receiver. It depends on what transmitter and receiver you're buying. Okay, so I've connected the wires. I've connected it from the bottom four joints so that for the four channels, the signal wire should be pointing upwards for this re receiver and the ground wire should be pointing downwards. Okay, focus. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll take the wire of the first motor and connect it to the first pad. Second motor to the second one. Third motor to third one. And fourth motor to the fourth one. Now that we have connected all the ESCs and the receiver to the flight controller, now let's add the buster which you get along with the flight controller to it. So here's the buster. So we are just be careful of which is the positive and which is the negative. And then we'll play then we'll place the buzzer here. We are going to use some more tacket to hold it in place. Now that the connections are clear, we'll attempt to connect the battery and see if everything powers up. Okay, now that it's powered up, I'm going to show you how to configure the KK 2.1.5 for your first flight. Okay, now that we have connected everything, let's start configuring the controller. So first, go to the menu option, go down to the bottom and first hit factory reset. So the next thing you want to do is select the quadcopter type, quadcopter X mode, that's what we are doing today. So just confirm the rotation of your motors. So the first motor, which is towards this side, should go clockwise. The next one, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Anti so we aren't using eight motors, so that's it. Okay, now we are gonna do calibration. So accelerometer calibration. For that, the quadcopter should be totally leveled and then you hit enter. It's calibrating. Okay, so after doing the uh, calibration, you have to go to the MISC settings. Okay, so when you're in the MISC settings, check that the minimum throttle letter is at 10. Then now go back up to the PID editor. And then keep the same values as I do.
Okay, so I forgot to mention you guys at one silly mistake. So you should add another cable from the receiver to the flight controller in the aux channel so that you can also communicate to the flight controller using the aux channel. So after this, we'll attach the props to the motors and take the drone for our first flight. Okay, so now we'll add the props to the quadcopter. When you take the props out, you will get two of these for each one for each prop these are not useless okay this will prevent your uh, prop from uh, being very loose so first you have to take your prop connector and then find out which ring suits it best so in my case this one suits it best so i'll take it off and then use this to add it to the prop just like this so after this you can add this to the prop mount and screw it on not too tightly keep it loose so now we are going to do the same process for the other three Okay, so now that we have done it with all the four motors, we are using this prop, the clockwise motor, which is motor number one. And then the same pro prop, which is 10 into 4.5 across. Now we are going to use the 10 into 4.5 R motor, R prop here. And the 10 into 4.5 R prop here. So now, get any tool, here I'm going to use an allen key to tighten the motors. So you have to insert it here like this and then tighten it. Now that we have tied up all the props and got the whole drone ready, we'll just connect the battery and pair the transmitter with the receiver and we'll get it for the first flight. We hope you enjoyed this build. Enjoy the flight. Thank you. I should fuck her in the best yeah.